Queen Mary II, the world's only ocean-going liner. The 12-year-old flagship of the British Maritime Fleet is arriving after a multi-million pound refit before resuming her duty carrying passengers in luxury between Southampton and New York, a tradition Cunard has continued for 176 years. What makes Queen Mary II unique is that she is the only transatlantic liner, the true ocean liner still in service in the 21st century. She steers remarkably well for a ship of 345 metres in length. So don't tell anybody, but she's actually a joy to drive. Cunard has made the major investment in the iconic ship in the same year as it celebrates the 80th anniversary of the original Queen Mary, the liner that heralded a new era of luxury ocean travel in the post-depression 1930s. Inspired by this and encouraged by increasing demand for luxury travel, her owner's Cunard recently sent her to dry dock where she was refitted and refurbished. Much of the inspiration for the renovation and for the remastering of the ship came actually from the original Queen Mary. And indeed a lot of the design cues that we've taken have come from the art deco of that period. The changes to the ship include new and more luxurious staterooms, complete refurbishment of its lounges, restaurants and dining areas, all in sympathy with the golden age of transatlantic travel. We concentrate on the core basic values of uh, cruising, the food, the beverage and the entertainment. We're on a par, if, if not better, than some of the best hotels in the world. Um, and uh, you have that luxury, uh, the grandeur, the elegance, that sets it apart from anything else that's out there in the industry. But it's not just the two-legged passengers who are well catered for on the Queen Mary too. As the cruise industry's only floating kennel, the refit also has included extra accommodation for four-legged travellers too, and the addition of a Liverpool lamppost and a New York fire hydrant to add some welcome relief. Your pet enjoys the accommodation and you enjoy with the pet too. Travelling on this ship makes me feel very special indeed. It really is one of those unique experiences that many people have on their bucket list and um, it's the grandeur of the ship and, and the luxury and just the relaxation, the way the crew look after you so well. The Queen Mary II is an echo of the golden age of transatlantic travel. But with a number of cruise passengers booming worldwide, it seems the industry is entering a new golden age.